And how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the smoke session aka how to make medicated brownies and cookies. Now what I enjoy doing instead of just actually making edibles is I enjoy a shatter infused edible. It hits a little bit harder, it's a little bit stronger. Uh, so what I do is I actually use shatters for all of my edibles. So if you have any of my edibles or have had any of the dandy edibles, uh, they're all shatter infused edibles. So this is basically how I make them. Uh, what I like to do is take some sort of shatter, uh, basically any shatter will actually work, and then per the ingredients, a half a cup of oil. Of these little spatulas. Make sure that your oven is set to 350. And what you're going to do is actually add all the oil that you have decarboxylated. I do have a video on how to decarboxylate your oil. You can check that video out in some of my previous videos. You take your decarboxylated oil, put it right into your decarboxylated shatter oil, whatever it is, put it right straight into your mix. such a pain getting it off the paper though. From here, flame. Come on. Old school. Okay. You may have to go old school. So basically you want to set up your flame to go on. You're going to set your flame to a about low, medium low. Get as much of the oil out of there as possible and into this oil. Alright. Now what you're going to end up with is this. And what you're going to do is Actually, let the heat take its take its course, and let all that glob melt into your oil completely. You want it to completely disintegrate and completely melt into oil until you can't even see it. It just turns your oil black. Now it really doesn't take long for this all to actually mix together. So as it's doing that, you want to get your whichever cake mix, brownie mix. So if you ever get the cake mixes, you'll notice on the back of the cake mixes it says to use three eggs, a half a cup of oil, and some water, like a quarter cup of water. Uh, we're going to take the water out and not use water at all and we're going to remove one egg. So we're going to use two eggs and half a cup of oil is all we're going to actually be using for the all our ingredients for the cake mixes. And these just make into really good cookies this way. Mm. 
it starting now all together. And what we're going to do, two eggs. As this oil gets finished, we're going to drop the oil in. So that's one package of cake mix, two eggs, and a half a cup of oil to make the most amazing cookies you have ever had in your life. Now that that's fully melted in, we're going to go ahead and drop that in there. There shouldn't be any remnants of the shatter that you put into that oil. That oil should be completely darkened by the shatter that you put in. This helps your mixing process so that every one of your bites has the same even amount of mix. And of course, how much you use will be up to you. I personally, for my entire mix, I make uh, 10 milligram bites and I make them rather small. I make them about a half a teaspoon small. So my, my bites really are not the biggest bites to begin with. All right, get everything to mix up. So I'm actually using four grams of shatter for my mix here. You guys are welcome to use that much or less depending on how much you want to use. That would be up to you. If you guys are using butter for this recipe, uh, substitute the oil for butter, basically. So instead of half a cup of oil, you're going to use half a cup of butter. And that would be your medicated cannabis butter. You're going to skip the whole shatter process. You don't have to melt anything. You just put your nice soft butter in instead of your oil and then do the mixing from there. Now that everything's coming to a nice, even mix here. Ooh, I almost want to eat this right out, like... Always remember in food preparation and handling, it's important to wash your hands multiple times while handling food. Cross-contamination can be a biatch. I don't know, everybody's probably sitting at home going, I'm not going to cross-contaminate my own food. Well, you never know. You could. So what we're going to do is now start on our bites. Like I said, I make mine about half a teaspoon. I get about 35 per tray. One, two, three. This is why it's important to wash your hands because you will be handling some of your food. This process actually is probably the one process that takes the longest. It's just kind of piecing everything out.
and then after you have basically during this time is a great time for your oven to be preheating uh, 350 is the oven temperature you're going to want your oven to be at especially for cookies these things do not take long whatsoever depending on the size of the cookie this brownie mix I'll actually be doing for seven minutes Most cookie mixes with the size that I make them, I've been doing them for about six to seven minutes each. I mean, I'm not making them huge, so it's not taking them long to cook. Getting baked with my baked goods. Now I will be pausing the video for the six minutes that it takes, six to seven minutes that it's going to take for these things to actually cook out. I'm not going to bore you guys with random chatter for six to seven minutes, I promise. I'm just going to pause it after I'm done here loading this up. I know I've already bored you guys enough, like, okay, let's get to the good stuff. We just want to know how to make it medicated. How does it come out? How does it taste? guys a good even spacing for the size of cookie that I make it's gonna be a rather long video there you go just a nice even spacing Make sure they sit nice and round. Pop them into our 350 degree oven. I'm actually trying to be quiet because my son is sleeping right now, so. <clears throat> I'll be right back with some brownies. And like I said, I'm back. Brownies. Oh, those are so good. Gotta let those cool off for a little bit. Now, as soon as they're cool, I can pull them off the pan. But the edibles are coming out great. So far, I've made some strawberry cookies. I've also made some chocolate chip cookies, and now I'm on to the brownies right now. So, and I'm filling them all. But uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, 
there's not much else to making brownies and making cookies. I mean, you just keep going through the dough over and over until there's no dough to go. So, uh, you all have a peaceful, positive, and productive day. Here's coming at you.